Take for example this uh, coffee cup. I can see, of course, that it is a coffee cup, but using my sense of touch I can get more information. I can know if it's warm, if it's cold. I can know if it's hard or soft. And I can also feel if the edges are sharp. Whoa! <laughs> well, haptics is a rather broad term. What people think of usually when you say touch is perhaps a stroke on the skin or feeling a texture. But haptics also involves perceiving temperature, pain, and also relative positioning of the limbs, such as the arm, for example. I know without looking how the joints in my arm are aligned roughly. Apparently now I face the challenging task of assembling this cup again. And it turns out that using my sense of touch makes this a lot easier. I could probably do it relying on vision alone, but when I can feel the pieces I can much more easily feel when I found the correct alignment between them. And this task is in fact similar to what surgeons face when they put broken, fragmented pieces of bone together. There too you need to find a very precise alignment between the bone fragments. And this idea incorporating the sense of touch into surgery planning is something that we've developed here at Uppsala University. So basically the way this works is that the surgeon would import images, co typically computer tomography images of the patient into the system. The system will then build a three-dimensional model of the skeleton in the face, for example, from these images. And then the surgeon can interact with the 3D model using the haptic device that we see here. We also use um, a special visualization station here where the computer monitor up here is placed at an angle above a half-transparent mirror. So the surgeon would stand here and observe the reflection of the monitor rather than looking straight at the monitor. And since this mirror is half-transparent, the surgeon could see both the visualization of the patient and also his or her own hand interacting with this. And the haptic device placed here would give force feedback. This is basically a pen mounted on a small robotic arm that contains sensors and motors. So when I move the pen around in space or rotate it, the sensors will track the position very precisely. And the motors built into the device gives force feedback. So Basically, the pen controls a three-dimensional cursor in the program, and whenever that cursor is in contact with the three-dimensional model of the patient's skeleton, I can feel that contact as a very hard and stiff contact. And I can also use it to pick up pieces of bone, for example, and put those together, and when they are in contact, I can feel the contact forces. Well, basically, there's many parts that need to work um, in our project. Um, first of all, uh, you need a way to find the interesting data in the images that we receive from uh, the hospital. For example, uh, you need to separate all individual pieces of bone. This is a research area, area in its own. Uh, image analysis and segmentation of important structures. Um, and then you need a way of visualizing those uh, in an efficient manner so that the surgeon can perceive in a very clear and accurate way um, what is important for this particular patient. And then of course there is a haptic part. How do you present the forces to the surgeon? Uh, so there could be contact forces when you explore the bone for example um, and also if you pick up a piece of bone and try to find a good fit with another piece of bone, the haptic part should be accurate enough uh, to be useful. And this is, a, this is a challenging part. So basically what we're seeing here uh, is a 3D model derived from computer tomography Im images from a patient with a complex fracture to the jaw. And when you think of it, this is really a 3D puzzle that needs to be solved by the surgeon ahead of surgery. 
So a big part of the planning step is to figure out how these pieces really should fit together. These types of tasks are really difficult to solve using two-dimensional tools, such as a traditional computer monitor and a mouse. But using the 3D tools and force feedback, it makes the problem much easier. I can pick up pieces here, individual pieces of bone, and manipulate them free, freely in space. And whenever they are in contact with each other, I can not only see how they fit together, but I can also feel it. So the combination of vision and haptics is really powerful. And when you think of it, this is really the way we interact with the physical world.